Hey everybody, what is going on? Welcome to this video. My name is Jaiga Bind and this is your channel for Grace. If you have not yet, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I'm so excited. I don't think you guys have seen a full moon ceremony before. So welcome, welcome, welcome. What I'm going to be doing is um, chanting four medicine songs, one for each of the directions. I'm also going to be doing a card reading with... Um, uh, reading a prayer to create sacred space and then doing a card reading with the moon child tarot oracle deck so without further ado let's just get right into it i'm also recording this video live on periscope so um, i'll be responding to a little bit of messages hey matthew how's it going tammy bambi welcome in oh we're behind the scenes yes yeah, behind the scenes kind of kind of but let's do this So I want you to take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. One more inhale. Exhale. And as I begin to play with this drum and sing these four medicine songs to each of the four directions, I want you to take a moment to go into your heart center and to say a prayer. Ask for a blessing from God. Maybe tell um, your wishes.
Great Spirit, thank you for this opportunity to be in conscious presence with you. Thank you for our lives, our gifts, our abundance, our friends and family. In this moment, we would like to call in our spirit guides, our angels and teachers from past, present and future to come and hold space for us here. I ask for your assistance to awaken in me the awareness and intuition to be able to receive your beautiful messages. I ask that you clear my energy and the energy of the space around me. I ask that you be with me during this ceremony. Thank you. I call in the spirit of the South, the great serpent energy to join us today. I ask that you help to activate in us the kundalini energy that rises from my root chakra to our crown chakras. I ask for the blessing of connection to our higher selves, our spirits, our souls, through and beyond our crown chakra. Thank you. I call in the spirit of the West, the wise, all-knowing jaguar energy to join us today. I ask that you please help create a shield of prote protection around us. I ask that you help us to navigate the rivers and caves of our subconscious minds and help us to unlock the codes to set our beings free of old habits, patterns, and stories. Thank you. I call in the spirit of the North, the beautiful, full of life hummingbird, to flutter around us and remind us of the power of the wisdom and the power to connect to the wisdom of our ancestors. I ask that you help us to see the beauty all around and teach us to be flexible on our path to spiritual freedom. Thank you. I call in the spirit of the East, the condor and the eagle, the yin and the yang, the divine feminine and the divine masculine energy within us to rise. I ask for wisdom and guidance, for a light to show us the way forward, to teach us how to soar high above the clouds of doubt and insecurity that sometimes hover over our minds and hearts. Thank you. I call in the spirit of Father Sky, Grandmother Moon, the universe and Mother Earth to hold us in sacred space, to support us unconditionally on our journey. I acknowledge your presence, and we acknowledge your presence in our lives, and we feel you loving us, supporting us, taking care of us, protecting us, guiding us, and illuminating our path. Thank you. All right. So this leads us into, by the way, thank you everybody that's watching here um, live. I appreciate it and thank you who's watching the video on YouTube. Yes. Is powerful. Welcome, welcome in everybody. <clears throat> We're going to do a reading from the Moon Child Tarot for this, hey Shelly, this powerful full moon that we got going on right now. <laughs> so I'm going to pull uh, three cards for us. I'm going to pull the, uh, do a past, present, and future reading for us here tonight. Hi there. In the past position, we got the Ace of Pentacles. Exactly, Danny. Exactly. Oh, well, welcome. Thank you for coming in. Okay. I like this reading. <laughs> okay, here we go. And I will be using the, uh, the booklet a little bit and then also just my own um, intuition. 
So end our past position. We've got the Ace of Pentacles. Thanks for inviting and sharing, you guys. I appreciate that. Look at this beautiful card. The Ace of Pentacles. The Ace of Pentacles is about prosperity, abundance, rewards, stability, and even health. <laughs> the Ace of Pentacles highlights new, prosperous beginnings that have the potential to grow into long-term success. Hey, Hot Spice. The energy of this card speaks of planning and strategizing, laying out the foundation of the foreseeable future, knowing that the outcome will be fruitful and positive. From this state of understanding comes the ability to identify opportunities as they arise and the paths that align best with your heart. This card, sp card speaks of the innate trust, intuition, and choices that support inner growth beyond mere affluence. You understand and prioritize what is truly important and are able to rally all the resources you need along the way. Remember, the power of positive visualization combined with a sense of gratitude will only attract more abundance into your life. So you know what, you guys? We've already been attracting abundance. We're already doing it. This was what we've been doing. This is in the past position. And so there's a powerful, like, what's going on right now energy but I feel like because our momentum is already moving in this direction, whatever pause we need to make right now is going to be very, very powerful and very, very necessary for us to do. It's almost like we have a moment right now to stop and check in and see how do we feel? How's this? How's that? Analyze your life. <laughs> analyze this analyze that I'm just kidding but you know what I mean just take a moment to pause and look at everything it's like where am I at how do I feel am I am I wanting to continue I know I have all this momentum behind me coming with the ace of pentacles saying you know you've been working on this this is the abundance that's coming it's it's this process this new beginnings um that are awakening right now for us that have to do with abundance like financial abundance it's not just it's not just about a new beginning it's literally financial abundance and you can see there's rainbows in this card and they're so beautiful and the rainbows you know always signify the the chakras the awakening the energy centers awakening and and beginning to um as they wake up to activate within you a balanced desire to be the best that you can be to be uh, you know, the best version of you that you can be. And that's what I feel like this moon is really calling us to do and what we have actually already been moving in the direction of. Let's look at this second card. The present is shadow work. Shadow work. What a beautiful card. And we already kind of know what this is all about, right? <laughs> So yes, having gratitude. So shadow work. Within each of us is a shadow self, a multifaceted inner vessel of the pains, traumas, fears, and suppressions we have experienced throughout our life. Very often we think of the shadow as something negative or malevolent, as this word has been known to conjure up themes of darkness or fear. But if we look a bit closer, we may find that our shadows are the ultimate liberators, acting as the most profound catalysts for, in, for aligning with our truth. That's what we're doing right now. We're aligning with our truth. Like the dark matter of our universe, dreams and seeds of light may be cultivated in this space. From the darkness comes the light, offering new portals for healing and transformation. Our shadows can help anchor our own brilliance and self-worth in teaching us to rise and transmute from the ashes that divide us from within. This may happen when we release our hidden burdens or remove the masks of the personas we continuously hide behind, allowing us to dive deeper within the waters of our hearts. Oh God, I love this card. The hidden aspects of our shadow also show us where our thoughts and habits have become entrenched or addictive over time, which is helpful when looking at how and where we may need to make profound changes in our lives. This is what we're doing right now. This is what the full moon is asking us to do. It's asking us to go deep within into 
the shadow part, right? The part that feels a little bit scary, a little bit like, I don't want to do that. I don't want to look at my life. I don't, I just want to, I just want to keep having fun, you know, but the, but the moment in time right now, this is a portal, right? New moons and full moons are always portals. They're portals for us to step into a new awareness, to come to a new uh, healing phase, to sort of start walking through, right? Up the ladder, although I don't like that m image so much, but just to walk through to the other side, a whole new world, right? A whole new world is on the other side. And the work that needs to be done, I mean, look at the moon on, in this card, right? The work that needs to be done is this inner work, this inner shadow work, where basically what happens is you um, awaken, you go deep, and then from that darkness you awaken within you, you spark that fire, you spark that light, and that light begins to shine brighter and brighter in the darkness. And as it gets brighter, you begin to see all of the things that very clearly, you begin to see all of the things that are there with you in the darkness. And then it's, and then it's from that awareness that you start to take action, that you start to say, that doesn't belong here. I don't want that here. That can stay, <laughs> but that has to go. And it's that process that, that begins the journey of the deeper shadow work, of the subconscious work, the subconscious mind clearing out fully. And that's what we're being asked to do right now. And that's intense because this work is not easy. It's not easy to do this kind of work, but somehow the universe knows that we're ready because otherwise it wouldn't ask us to do it, right? The future, here's the future card, the Ace of Swords. I love this card. The Ace of Swords is a potent key that speaks of heightened states of mental clarity cutting straight to the truth. It marks the emergence of great determination and power in order to reach your goals successfully and often points to new accelerations in consciousness that help refine your vision for the future. When this key shows up, it may feel as though nothing can stop your progress, regardless of any potential roadblocks, but may surface along the way. Now is the time to seize those heartfelt opportunities, to create new positive changes in your life. Wow, a wonderful time to stand out on your own against all odds, the ultimate momentum of conscious action and creation. What? Wow, this is a crazy reading, you guys. I love it when this happens. It's so on point. And so what this card is saying, it's like, once you do the shadow work, right? If you, if you, if you allow yourself to go in there, you're not going to get stuck. Sometimes it feels like you'll get stuck in that dark room, right? In, in the dark, but you're not going to get stuck because you shine that light. You, you, you turn that light on and you start to do the work. And then the inspiration comes and you feel very strong in your sense of who you are because you've done the shadow work. And as you do that, all of these obstacles start moving out of your way. And it's like, I envision this card reminds me of Wonder Woman, right? Like, just like going with her sword, like, ah, you know, like going against all odds, right? going going against like a whole army right when you think about the the modern you know the, the movie that just came out like wonder woman it's like you you think of that and and it's like that's us because we get we get the courage from doing the shadow work like we get the courage from that and that's what the, this moon is asking us to do so that's a very very powerful reading Oh my God, I can't even believe it. So the Ace of Pentacles, we've been, we've been doing the work. We've been awakening. The financial abundance is coming. Like we've already been doing this. Keep doing that. Don't stop doing this, but take a moment to pause. Take a moment to pause and look at, look at within. What needs to change from within so that the without can manifest more clearly, right? What do you need to check in with? And remember that the journey is going to take you to mental clarity and to a courage that you, you have not even known. You haven't even known yet how much courage you have to go forward and do the things that you want to do in your life. And that is a powerful, powerful reading for us for this beautiful um, full moon. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to close the 
the sacred space real quick and um and then we'll continue with the the conversation so give me one moment here so i just want to thank our spirit guides our angels and our teachers the seven directions and the animal spirits for being with us today during the ceremony and during this beautiful ritual i want to thank them for this powerful reading that will help guide us on our path forward towards abundance, towards joy, towards bliss, towards happiness. And I want to ask that they, our spirit guides, angels, and teachers continue to watch over us as we travel along our lives. And we release you now. Satnam. All right, you guys. Um, you guys on Periscope, I'm not. Don't stay here because I'm not going anywhere. Um, I just want to say thank you to everyone that did watch uh, this video on YouTube. Please leave a comment below and let me know uh, what your um, experience of this uh, full moon in Virgo ceremony was like. And um, definitely give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. And also check out the Earth School for Lightworkers course that is now open for registration until March 1st. We have a uh, early bird discount. You get the course for $349. After March 1st, the price goes up to $399. So make sure that you check that out. And if you have any questions, send me an email. All the information is below in the description of this video. Satnam, and we'll see you soon.